welcome to my channel. My name is Erica and today's video is going to be episode seven of my collection and declutter series all about my lipsticks. And this is the tub that all of my lipsticks live in. Yeah, does this look like fun to have to dig through every time you wanna find a lipstick to put on? Well, I'm telling you, it's not. There's a lot of things in here that I've had for a very long time and that I haven't used for a very long time. So my goal today is to declutter as many of these lipsticks as I possibly can. And of course, I wanna store things differently so I'll actually use what I keep in my collection. Now I do have a pretty good mix of liquid lipsticks and bullet lipsticks, and I don't have them arranged by brand or color. As you can see, they're just kind of thrown in there. So I'm just gonna go through them one by one, uh, and really no rhyme or reason here. And I don't think I'm gonna be swatching any of my bullet lipsticks. I don't, I don't know, I kind of have a weird thing about swatching bullet lipsticks, I don't know why. But I will be swatching several of my liquid lipsticks. But you know what, if I swatched everything, we'd be here for way too long. So this is a video that you might need to go get like a snack or a drink or a blankie or get your cat. You guys can cuddle on the couch while you watch this. But if you're ready to watch me go through all of these lipsticks, see what I'm gonna keep and what I'm gonna declutter, then please sit back, relax, and let's get into it. So I'm gonna start off with my lip oils, and I do have two. The first one here is one by Cab. This is the Cab Lip Oil, and this is in the shade Rum Punch. And I got this, I think, in a boxy charm. And I love to put this on like right when I get out of the shower. A lot of times uh, when I very first start filming, like my intros, I have this on my lips. And then I also really like to put this over the top of a matte liquid lipstick just to provide some sheen, like make it look more glossy. It does smell like coconut, so I'm pretty sure there's coconut oil in here. Then I have the ColourPop Luxe Lip Oil, and this is in the shade ugh, Hot Spark. And I got this in my ColourPop mystery box and I really like this too. It uh, makes my lips feel very hydrated, which I need right now because my lips are super chapped. This is the Gosh Cosmetics Liquid Matte Lips and this is in the shade 009 The Red. And this is one of my absolute favorite, if not my favorite red lippy that I have in my collection. Pia, Makeup by Pia W sent this to me. I will swatch this for you. It's just a beautiful kind of tomato red, but I feel like there's a little bit of like, I don't know, hot orange in this red too. It just looks really good. I love using it. Then I have the Queen Nubia Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick, and this is in the shade My Lisa. And I love this, and I am a brand ambassador for this brand. This is a U.S. indie brand. I just love the brand owner. Her name is Shikara, and I will swatch this for you as well. Beautiful dark brown, but kind of maybe even a little bit of purple in there too to me. It's just a beautiful lippy. And, and the Queen Nubia Cosmetics formula is one of my favorites, if not my favorite liquid lipstick I have tried. I have an LA Colors Matte Liquid Lip Color, and this is in the shade Sultry. Really nice nude lippy and I think this was what two dollars maybe under two dollars at my grocery store I have this one from Anastasia Beverly Hills and this is in the shade bittersweet and I got this at TJ Maxx a long time ago I'm gonna swatch it and see what I think uh, I did like it I used to use it quite often and it is a really pretty shade and it feels nice like it doesn't feel like it's gotten old or anything so I think I will hold on to this this is a NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, and this is in the shade, I don't know. This is so old, so old. I mean, I haven't used this in a long time. My daughter actually gave this to me, so this I'm gonna be tossing in the garbage can. I have another one from Queen Nubia. This is a lip gloss, and this is in the shade Kiana. This is gorgeous. I like to throw this over the top of like a bullet lipstick just to add a little bit of like, I don't know, shine, kind of glossiness to my lip color. Uh, this isn't super like dynamic necessarily, but it does provide, like I said, just a nice sheen gloss. It's really pretty. I have this one from Stila. I got this at uh, TJ Maxx quite a while ago, and this is in the shade Perla. And I just never really liked how this performed. I do think it's a pretty shade, kind of a nude pink color but I just don't like how it feels on my lips, so this is going to be decluttered. I have another NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, and this is in the shade uh, Copenhagen, and this is really old. My daughter gave this one to me around the same time that she gave me that other one, and I haven't used this in forever, so this is going to go in the garbage can as well. I have this beautiful lip gloss from Milani, and this is the Ludicrous Lights, and this is in the shade 120 Peach Ella, and I absolutely love this. I like to throw this over the top of like a darker uh, liquid lipstick or bullet lipstick, it's got this beautiful duochrominess to it. It's kind of like peach and gold. You can't really see it that well on my camera, but man, I just love having this. I will definitely be holding on to it. I have this one from Colored Rain, and this is in the shade, let's see, 24-7, and I love this. Kind of a, I don't know, more corally nude shade, I would say. I'll swatch this down here, and it's just lovely. Really, really nice formula. It dries down really well, and it will stay on your lips all day. 
This is one of my absolute favorite liquid lipsticks that I own. This is from Labelle. This is the matte liquid lipstick, and this is in the shade Vamp Addict. And Steph, not your basic Steph, my best friend, she sent this to me, and I love it. I use this a lot on my channel. You guys have seen this before. Just a beautiful dark purple shade. I am madly in love with this liquid lippy, and I'm going to keep it. This came in an ice cream beauty box. This is the Bella Pierre Cosmetics. This is the, let's see, Saturn Holographic Lip Gloss, and I love this. This is gorgeous. I like it by itself. I like it over the top of a lipstick. Really happy that I got this and will definitely be keeping it. I have this from Half Cake. This is the Super Glaze Lippy, and this is in the shade Dream Phone. And I think this came in an Ipsy, I'm pretty sure, maybe a boxy charm. And I love the shade. It's just a really pretty pink shade, kind of medium pink, I would say. Really nice formula, has a nice smell to it. It's kind of like a fruity smell, and I think it's gorgeous. I have this little gloss here from Tarte. This is the H2O gloss, and this is in the shade Hang 10. And really, really cute little gloss here, you know, just a little doe foot applicator. And there's not a ton of this left, but there's enough, and I will be keeping it. It's beautiful. I have this one from Half Caked as well. This is called Low Key, and I've used this before a couple times on my channel, a few times. I love this liquid lipstick. Really nice formula, and it lasts really well throughout the day, and I like the fact that it's kind of like an angled doe foot to put on your lips, and I think that's just a lovely shade. It's kind of a reddish pink, really pretty. This is from She Glam, and this came in a set of three. This one is called Haters, and I love the shade. You know, nude, but a little bit of mauve in there too. It's just beautiful, and it works really well on my lips. You know, like it doesn't transfer. It stays on my lips all day. We'll definitely be holding on to this one. This is the Metal Liquid Lipstick from Cara Beauty, and this is in the shade Lawless, and man, do I love these. You know, they are hard to get off. I will say that. They're hard to get off. They stay on your lips for a really long time, and after a while, they kind of get almost a little chunky, but I just really enjoy the metallic finish to it, and, uh, you know, I just, I just kind of get over the chunkiness of it, and I will be holding on to it. I have this from ColourPop. This is the Lippy Sticks, and this is in the shade O Behave, and I love this. Beautiful emollient uh, lipstick here. Beautiful brown shade. Really like dark brown lippies, and we'll be keeping this. Then I have the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. This is in the shade Istanbul. Beautiful lippy. Uh, really love these. I mean, I've had several of them throughout the year, so we'll be holding on to this one. This is a beautiful glossy lippy. This is from Unique, and this is in the shade Loved. And my dear friend Bridget, who has a channel here on this platform, she sells this, and I picked this up from her. It is such a beautiful lippy. Very chocolatey, very glossy. I love it. This is actually a liquid eyeshadow. This is the NYX Professional Makeup Chromatic or Duo Chromatic, and this is in the shade Cocktail Party. And the reason why I use it as a lipstick is because it just doesn't really work as a liquid shadow on my lids. It gets really creasy. It kind of just never really dries down. It's kind of kind of bizarre, but as a lippy, it works great. And I like to put this over the top of like a dark brown uh, lip shade. It's gorgeous. Has this kind of cool flip to peach and gold. I just think it's amazing. We'll definitely be holding on to this one. I have this bullet lipstick. This is from L'Oreal Paris, and this is the Color Riche, and this is in the shade 590 Blushing Berry. This is absolutely gorgeous. Just, you know, nice pink, kind of pinkish nude, I guess, berry toned, <laughs> lippy. Really nice consistency, feels great on the lips, got a really nice kind of almost like baby powder scent to it. I love it. I have another one of the uh, duochromatic uh, liquid shadows that I use as a lippy. This is also from NYX, and this is in the shade Gypsy Dreams. And oh boy, this is gorgeous too. I like to throw this over the top of like a purple lippy liquid lipstick or bullet lipstick. It's just gorgeous. Really pretty kind of lavender to pink shift, a little bit of gold sparkle in there. Here's a liquid lipstick from BH Cosmetics. The sticker has come off the bottom, so I have no idea what shade this is. I love this when I first got it. Really pretty shade. However, it's way too old. It just doesn't work well on my lips. It feels awful. So I'm going to toss this in the garbage. This is another lippy that came in that She Glam set. This is in the shade Momojo, and I love the shade. Just a little bit of a deeper pink than the last one that I showed you, but you know, kind of kind of a nudish pink. It's gorgeous. This is the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit in the shade Give Me Mocha. I've used this many times on my channel. Beautiful nude, kind of maybe deeper nude lippy. Very affordable. We'll be holding on to this for sure. This is another NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. I have no idea what shade this is in because, of course, the sticker has come off. I've had this for as long as I've had the other one one of the other ones I showed at the very beginning, and uh, it's older than dirt. I'm going to get rid of it, but a be beautiful lip shade, and I, like I said, I love these, but yeah, it's just, I mean, I don't need it. I don't use it. 
I have another one from Queen Nubia Cosmetics, and this is in the shade Respect. And I just really wanted to get some fun lippies. And I know my fingerprints are all over the top here. Sorry about that. I just wanted to have some fun lip shades. I just didn't really have that in my collection, so I thought blue would be really cool. And I just love this lippy. I have used this before on my channel. Beautiful kind of royal blue shade. Very nice formula. We'll definitely be holding on to this one. This is another one from Queen Nubia Cosmetics. This is in the shade Erica. And no, this is not named after me, but I do like to pretend that it is. And I love the shade. Love it. Beautiful brown shade here. You know, just, just really nice. Really uh, goes with everything. And uh, like I said, I've said this a, a bunch of times. I love the Queen Nubia Cosmetics formula. I have this little gloss here. You know, a little bit of pigmented gloss. This is from Belle en Argent, I guess. And I don't know what the shade is. Lip Lure Gloss. I don't know. This is really nice. I got this, I think, in a BoxyCharm or an Ipsy. These always look like absolute crap in my collection because I get my fingerprints all over them and I just don't clean them off. But this is a really nice uh, kind of a rusty, orangey toned lip gloss. I have this one from MAC Studio. My daughter got me a set of these glosses, oh gosh, years ago, like way before I got really into makeup. Uh, pretty shade, way too old. It's getting tossed. This is another one I got from BH Cosmetics and I believe this is in the shade Juliana. It's a really pretty shade. I'll go ahead and swatch it for you. But it's pretty similar to the Erica shade that I have down here. Well, it's a little bit darker. But I can tell just from swatching it that it's gone old. It just feels weird. It's kind of, I don't know, thick feeling. And, you know, it's a bummer that I didn't use this enough, but I am going to be getting rid of it. Here's a gloss that came in one of my ice cream beauty boxes. And this is by Pirlano, I believe. And this is in the shade Tuscan Sunset. And when you unscrew the lid here it's got a little light that turns on. Isn't that cool? So if you're in the dark and you wanna put on your lip gloss, you'll still look beautiful. Here's another NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, and I don't know what shade this is in. This is so old, so old. This thing's about ready to pack up its stuff and move out. So I think I'll just help it along and throw it in the garbage can. This is a beautiful lippy. This is the Superstay Vinyl Ink by Maybelline New York, and this is in the shade 30 Unrivaled. Now, I've used this a handful of times, and there's been a couple times I've used it that it was really kind of like sticky feeling, but that's not typical. Like the other times I used it, it was fine. And I just think it's a beautiful color, and I do really like the formula when it doesn't act real sticky. It could have just been my lips, I don't know, but I will definitely hold on to this. This is the one that Oakley sent to me. This is the NYX Butter Gloss, that's right, I remember that now. And this is in the shade Vanilla Cream Pie, and I love this, beautiful shade and really nice consistency. NYX makes such beautiful lip products. Really pretty shade. I mean, look how cute that is. Light pink. I love it. This is a Revlon Bullet Lipstick, and this is in the shade 725. I love that red, and these are so nice. I got a set of these at TJ Maxx, I and mean, look how beautiful that is. This is a really old lipstick that I got from TJ Maxx, oh, years ago. This is Jolie New York. Don't even know that brand at all. Beautiful shade. Really nice, use this several times, but it smells weird. Like you can smell it as soon as I take the lid off. So this is going in the garbage can. This is a MAC bullet lipstick in the shade Please Me. And I forgot I even had this. I have used this before, beautiful. It's kind of a, you know, a pinky nude shade. I got this, I think, in a boxy charm, and I will keep this. Another metal liquid lipstick from Cara Beauty, and I believe this is in the shade Privacy. Yeah, Privacy, and I love this too, beautiful shade. Oops, I got that kind of too close to that one. Oh, well. Beautiful lippy. Uh, kind of, you know, maroon metallic shade. I love it. Here's a little lippy from Lime Crime that Steph sent to me. This is in the shade number 18, it says. I love this. Beautiful, bright, kind of bubblegum pink lipstick. I mean, look how bright and beautiful that is. I have this one that Steph sent to me. This is the Beauty Bakery Lip Whip. This is a really nice gloss. And this is in the shade Jelliana. And I just like to pop this over the top of a more matte liquid lipsticks, kind of a, a peachy gold toned lip gloss, and I thoroughly enjoy using it. I have this lippy from Ellen Tracy. I have no idea what the shade name is because there's no sticker on it. I got this at TJ Maxx. I don't think I've ever used this. I've had this for probably four years. I'm going to toss it. I have another one here from Jolie New York. This came in the same set as the other one and just kind of a peachy coral lipstick. It smells bad. Uh, it did work really well, but it's just super old, so this is going in the garbage too. This is from Artitude Cosmetics. This is a UK indie brand that Steph is a brand ambassador for, and this is in the shade Inferno, and she sent this to me, and I've never used it. Beautiful kind of orangey red shade. I mean, isn't that gorgeous? And that's really why I wanted to do this, is so that I'll use things like this that I haven't used yet that really need some love. Another metal liquid lipstick from Cara Beauty. This is in the shade Vintage. I've used this multiple times on my channel. I love this shade. It's gorgeous. 
uh, kind of a coppery brown metallic finish. It is beautiful. And then we have this one from Cara Beauty. This is another metal liquid lipstick, and this is in the shade Badass. And I love the shade. And this is the only real orange lippy that I have in my collection, so definitely be keeping it. I just love it. I, I love the metallic finish of these liquid lipsticks. This one is also from Queen Nubia. This is in the shade Denise, and this got buried, so I haven't used this in a really long time, but it's absolutely gorgeous. So watch this for you as well. Kind of a, I don't know, tomato red shade. This one is kind of a mess. Uh, this is M2U NYC, I think is the name of the brand, and this is a matte liquid lip, and this is in the shade Soho. I got this, I think, in a BoxyCharm. Really pretty liquid lipstick formula and, and shade, and I use this quite often. This usually lives on my uh, bathroom sink, so this will be staying in my collection. This is another one from Stila. This is the Slay All Day Liquid Lipstick, same as the other one that I showed earlier, and this is in the shade Dulce, and I've just had this forever, and I don't use it, and I wasn't a huge fan of the formula, so this is going to be decluttered. Grace, Gel Beauty 87, she sent me a little mini lip kit from Gwen Stefani's new brand, Give, I believe it's called. And this is, let's see, Original Me, Original Recipe, a beautiful red lippy. And I think, yeah, this one is the more matte one, I believe. It's just gorgeous. So happy she sent these to me. I love all three of the little lippies that came in the little kit. This is the second one that came in that little kit, and this is in Anaheim Shine. This has more of a glossy finish to it. I haven't used this one yet, but it's absolutely stunning. And this is the third little lippy that came in that set, and this is in the shade I'm Still Here. Beautiful red liquid lipstick. I mean, look how beautiful that is. Really pretty shade of red. Really happy that she sent these to me. This is the Ofra Flexi Stick Liquid Lipstick, and this is in the shade Velour. I've used this a ton of times. Steph sent this to me. Absolutely beautiful. Really pretty kind of purpley pink shade, kind of mauve shade. I have this uh, liquid lipstick from Ades New York, and I don't know what the shade is. Uh, this is a high-definition liquid lipstick, it says. Now, this, to me, has more of a glossy consistency. It doesn't really, like, uh, stay on your lips that well. You know, I mean, it does, it does fine, but it's not, like, transfer-proof or anything. I don't know. I've always referred to this as a gloss, even though it says it's a liquid lipstick, and I think this came in a BoxyCharm. I love this. I do have this lip plumper from Barry M. That's Swell, and this is in the shade Abuji, and my dear friend Linda uh, from Instagram, she lives in Sweden. She sent this to me, and it does make your lips kind of do that tingly, almost kind of burning. Not not bad, just just slight little tingle there, uh, and it's more of a gloss, I would say, but it's just a beautiful shade, and I will definitely hold on to it. I have this little gloss here from Artist Couture. I think this either came in an Ipsy or Boxy Charm, and this is in the shade Le Freak, and it's a beautiful little gloss. This I got, I don't know, a long time ago, I think in a Boxy Charm, and this is from Bella Pierre Cosmetics, and this is in the shade Incognito, and it's pretty, but I don't really use it a whole lot. I don't know, it's just not, not doesn't show up that great on my on my lips, I guess. And I mean, the formula's fine, but I just don't really use this that much. I did at first, and then, I don't know, I just wasn't really that impressed by it. So I'm going to declutter it. Another liquid lipstick from BH Cosmetics, and I cannot read the bottom. I have no idea what shade this is. And I just have had this forever, and I, I never use this, so I'm going to declutter it. Another one that came in a boxy charm. this is the Give Them Lala Beauty Liquid Lipstick, and this is in the shade Wifey. Beautiful shade, and really nice formula. That's kind of fun to have like a light pink shade in your collection, so I will hold on to this. This came, I believe, in a boxy charm, and this is from Hank and Henry Satin Matte Lipstick in Sexy, and it's really cool because you push this and then it comes out of the bottom. And it's got some really pretty kind of glittery stuff on it, and I've used this a couple of times, but I, I don't know. I just, I don't necessarily love the shade. I don't necessarily love the formula, so I will be decluttering it. Here is another Revlon Bullet Lipstick, and this is in the shade 450 Gentleman Prefer Pink. And this came in the set that I got from TJ Maxx. Love the shade, love the formula, we'll be keeping it. I have another one from MAC. This came in a boxy charm, and this is in the shade Move Your Body. And I love the shade. Chocolate, beautiful, we'll definitely keep it. This is from CoverGirl. This is their metallic lipstick in 540 Stop the Press. And, you know, I did use this in a full face of Drugstore Makeup Collab with Dion, and I used this by itself. And honestly, I think I would have liked it more if I had popped this over the top of like a darker lip shade. Uh, this is a really nice formula, a really, really pretty metallic finish to it. I will be keeping it. This is another one from BH Cosmetics, and this is in the shade Jacqueline. 
And uh, this is really old. I tried this, I don't know, maybe two weeks ago and it just did not perform well. So this is also going in the garbage. Another Ellen Tracy liquid lipstick. I think this came in a set with that uh, light pink one. I, I just don't really ever reach for this. Um, I mean, it's, it's okay. I, I do remember using this and thinking it was okay, but nothing super exciting. And I do like the shade, but I just don't use it. This is from Essence Cosmetics. This is their long lasting lipstick in 02 Just Perfect. I got this uh, when I talked about having my grandson and I got this off their website and I think it was like $2 and I haven't used it since uh, that video, but I really do like the shade and it's nice to have just, you know, neutral nude lippy in your collection that you enjoy. So I will hold on to it. This is a lippy from Folklore that I got off of Amazon and this is in the shade 11 Sicily. And this is really pretty. I totally forgot I even had this. You know, just, just a nice nude liquid lipstick. But the formula feels really good. You can't even uh, notice it on your lips. So I definitely want to hold on to this one. Another metal liquid lipstick from Cara Beauty. This is in the shade Escape. Oh, I love this color. You know, it's kind of pink with some little bit of purple and blue in there. Beautiful metallic finish. Isn't that lovely? Here's another one from Stila. This is in the shade Forza. I just, like I said, I, I just am not a huge fan of the formula of this liquid lipstick. Uh, TJ Maxx was where I found this, of course, with the other two. So this will be decluttered as well. This is the Velvet Luxe liquid lipstick from ColourPop. And this is in the shade Fatale. And I, I just don't like how this performs. I don't like it at all. And it's making my camera go funky. I don't know what's going on. I mean, it, it's a pretty shade, but I mean, it literally just soaks into my lips. So this is going to be decluttered. And here is the third lippy that I got from She Glam that came in that set with the other two. And this is in the shade City Nights. And I love this. Love the shade. Love the formula. I mean, look how beautiful that is. Rich, deep red, kind of brick red. Maybe a little bit of purple in there. Beautiful. I have a gloss here from Real Her. I love this gloss. This is in the shade Be Limitless. And I think this came either in an Ipsy, I think, or a BoxyCharm. I don't know. But I love using this. Beautiful gloss. Really nice finish to it. And a really pretty shade. I have this lippy from the Beauty Vault. And this is in the shade Natty Nat. I got this in a BoxyCharm. And I really like this. And was using it a ton when I first got it. Because look how beautiful that red shade is. That's more of a brick red, I would say. This one right here is more of like a purpley red. But this is a true brick red. Absolutely beautiful shade. Really nice formula. I am totally going to keep it. I have this ColourPop Lippy Sticks. This is in the shade Jam Sesh. And I love this. My daughter was like, Mom, you got to try the ColourPop Lippy Sticks. And I'm like, do I really? And she's like, yeah, Mom, you do. And she was right. I really did need to try them because they're wonderful. If you guys have not tried the ColourPop Lippy Sticks, highly recommend Really nice formula. I mean, they do transfer. They're not going to stay around all day. You're going to have to touch them up if you want your lip color to show all day. But they feel really nice on the lips, and I think this is a beautiful red shade. This is another ColourPop Lippy Sticks, and this is in the shade Happy Days. Metallic, it says, and I think I got this in my ColourPop Mystery Box. Yeah, look how pretty that is. I haven't used this one yet. Ugh, that's why I'm glad I'm getting rid of all this stuff, you guys, so I can use stuff like this. Another Revlon Bullet Lipstick, and this is in the shade Kiss Me Coral 750. I got this in that same set that I've shown other lipsticks from. Beautiful coral shade. I love these lipsticks. Another one from Revlon came in the same set, and this is in the shade 477 Black Cherry. Absolutely stunning. And I obviously use this alongside another lipstick at some point. Uh, it's not like old or anything. It's just got a little bit of remnants from the other lipstick that I used at the same time. Beautiful shade. Another one that came in that set is 657 Fuchsia Fusion, and this is gorgeous too. I used this quite a bit when I first got it and haven't used it in a while, but you know, I mean, you can't go wrong with these lipsticks. Another one that came in the set is the 044 Bare Affair from Revlon, and this is a lovely nude lippy. Man, so many came in this set, I forgot about that. This is 525 Wine With Everything. I've used this before on my channel. I think it's gorgeous. This one is 535 rum raisin beautiful shade i love it and again i'm just using these with other lipsticks so it's not like weird or funky it's just because i like to mix and match my lipsticks and then to round out the set this is 463 sassy mauve beautiful this one i'm pretty sure steph sent to me this is an illamasqua lipstick and this is in the shade energy and i don't think i've used this beautiful purple shade man gotta use this one soon this one I got from NARS. I'm pretty sure this came in a boxy charm. And this is in the shade Let's Go Crazy. This is the Velvet Matte Lip Pencil. And I think I have used this before. It's a beautiful shade. And, you know, I, I've always wanted to have more things from NARS in my collection for some reason. So, yeah, I'm going to hold on to this. This is a gloss from Dose of Colors. And this is in the shade Almond Butter. Oh, man, do I love this gloss. I think this came 
in a boxy charm, I'm pretty sure. I am so happy that I have this. I use this all the time. Here's another fun one from Queen Nubia Cosmetics, and this is in the shade Prosperity. Really fun green lippy to have. Isn't that fun? I love it. I just, I really do want to get some more fun liquid lipstick colors, but you know, blue and green, pretty fun. These two, I'm pretty sure, are from Illamasqua as well. This is in the shade Bang. I think I got these in an Ipsy or a BoxyCharm, and this looks funky. It's got like, I don't know, beads on it. Maybe it's supposed to. I don't, I don't think so. And this one is in the shade Cosmic. Uh, yeah, these look weird. Are they supposed to have those things on there? I don't think so. I think these are just going to go in the garbage can. I do remember using these and liking them, but man, old, old, old. So going in the trash can. I have this cutie from Lottie London. This is the Slay All Day in So Good. I really like this. This came, I think, in a boxy charm or something like that. You know, kind of a more nude, neutral shade, but really pretty. It looks really nice on the lips. I found these three from Mac Studio in there as well that my daughter got for me, and these are all just going to go in the garbage can. I feel so bad because, you know, she obviously went and picked these out for me, but they're just so old. I have this from Mayel. I never know how to say this. This is in Berry. This is really pretty, and I got this, I believe, also in a boxy charm, and I've used this a few times. Just hadn't used it in a while, but I do want to hold on to it because I really like the consistency and the color. Here are three more from Jolie New York, and uh, I think, did I get this set at TG Maxx or Marshalls? I don't know. But the other two or three that I opened, they all stink. And so I'm sure these stink too. I really did enjoy using these when I first got them. But yeah, I do not need to keep these. Now this is so old. This is from Mary Kay, you guys. And this is in the shade Sheer Blush. And man, I just polarized that thing. Flatten that sucker right down. Oh, I, I do kind of want to hold on to this just for uh, nostalgic purposes. Because my mom and I used to get Mary Kay together all the time. But I mean, I haven't used this in so long. I don't know. I, I do think I'm going to keep it just because it reminds me of my mom, but I don't think I will ever use this again. Here is another NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, and this is in the shade London, and this is actually pretty new. I just got this not very long ago. Um, I don't know that I need to keep that because I already have that color elsewhere. Hmm. I think I will declutter this one. Then I have some lip liners here, and I don't know what I'm going to do with these because I don't ever, ever use lip liners. I'd like to start using lip liners, but I, I say that and I don't do it. So there's two from Ellen Tracy. This one is in the shade, I don't know. This went along with that pink lippy that I have. This I'm just going to declutter. Uh, this one went along with the more reddish one I have from Ellen Tracy that I decluttered, so I will declutter this one as well. I mean, they're pretty shades, but I mean, I've had them for years. These two are by St. Lux. I think these came, did these come in an ice cream beauty box or BoxyCharm? I don't remember. This is in the shade Moscato. Very pretty. I mean, it's a pretty shade. Don't use it. Decluttering it. This is Vino. Pretty, very pretty. Don't use it. Decluttering it. I mean, there's just no point in me keeping it. Then I have this one from LA Colors, and this is in the shade Natural. Uh, pretty, but decluttering. And then the last one here is from the Beauty Vault, and this is in the shade Carmen. And this came along with that red uh, liquid lipstick that I showed you from the Beauty Vault. And I mean, do they match? No. So I'm going to also declutter this one as well. And last but not least, I have the one that Style Vana sent to me. This is by Amuse. This is the Dew Velvet Lipstick or Lip Tint Lip Stain in the shade Lively Rose. And I didn't realize it was a lip tint or a lip stain until I put it on. And I ended up really liking it. At first, I was like, I don't know how I feel about this. I mean, I, I couldn't even feel it on my lips. It felt so amazing. And it lasted actually really well. It's a beautiful shade. Love having it. So I have two more lip products I wanted to show you guys. These live in my bathroom and I use these things pretty much every single night because I get such horrible chap lips during the winter. The first thing is this. This is the Seraphine Botanicals Apple and Balm Glow Lip Mask. And I put this on pretty much every night before I go to bed. And it's got a really nice light apple scent to it. I'm pretty sure I got this in a boxy charm. And it does wonders to get rid of my chap lips. And then I also use this one from Jouer. And I won this in a giveaway from Kendi Beauty. I will have her channel linked in my description box. And this is the Essential Lip Enhancer. And it just does a really good job of getting rid of my chap lips. The, these two things together. I mean, they're just magical. So now let's look at the tub full of lippies. And it's still pretty full. It is. It's, you know, it's full. But it's not nearly as full as it once was. And I'm really proud of myself that I got rid of so many things out of here. I maybe didn't get rid of as many things as I thought I was going to get rid of. 
But most of the things, well, all of the things I got rid of were super old. I wasn't using them. Uh, some of them smell bad. And there was just absolutely no reason for me to keep those products. I'm really excited to get the little storage trays that Andy ordered me. Because I'm going to be using those to store these things better so that I can see more of what I have. I think what I'm going to do is arrange them by bullet lipsticks and then liquid lipsticks. Or maybe like glosses, bullet lipsticks, liquid lipsticks. I, I don't know, but I, I just know it's going to be a hell of a lot better than this. And I would love to know if you guys have any of these lip products, of course, what you think of them, if you love them, if you don't love them, uh, if, if you're keeping them, if you're going to get rid of them. Let's talk about that in the comment section. Now, my next episode of my collection and declutter series is going to be episode eight, which is going to be my eyeshadow palette collection and declutter video. Whoa, I really need to like get myself psyched up for that because it takes me quite a while to get through all of my palettes. But I'm telling you, once that's over, I'm going to be so happy because I'm going to declutter a, a lot, I think. I'm pretty, pretty sure I may be decluttering a lot of my eyeshadow palettes, which is not easy for me to do, but I'm ready to do it. I, I got to do it. I, I just have to have this space be more of what I want it to be, less cluttered, and just the things that I really enjoy using and that I love using. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your life to sit down and watch this video. This was kind of a long one. And if you're new here and you like what you saw, please consider subscribing. Smash the like button and please comment down below in the comment section because I love to chat with you guys there. And if you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. I really look forward to seeing you guys again in my next video. But in the meantime, please take very good care of yourself. Be well, safe, happy. See you next time. Bye. Drop it.